Okay, so y'all are leaving out to go to Miss Judy's at Sneed's Farmhouse to go get Mo. That's right. Miss Judy did send me a message this morning and said it's a 70% chance of rain. Ugh. I got a rain jacket. Yeah. And she said it's sunshine in there now, but we may be in a muddy mess by the time I get there. Oh, fingers crossed it's not a muddy mess. That's right. Huh. Well... Why well, I got so much stuff to do here. A I know. lot of stuff to do here. I know. It was just, it wasn't going to work out for you to just drive over there and pick right. them up when you can <clears throat> see them when we get home. Right. So. Okie doke. Well, y'all have fun. Be careful. And while you're gone, I'm going to take care of some things that need to be done here. She thinks she's going. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What is going on, Cog Squad? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. And you guys see, big day today. Big, big day today. Mo is coming to live here on our farm. And we cannot be more excited. If you don't know who Mo is, Mo is a Nubian buck or buckling. It's a baby that uh, we are getting from Judy over there at Sneed's Farmhouse Sanctuary. And he will be a breeding buck for us because if you've been following us, you know that we want to produce our own goat milk. So we want to milk our goats and do whatever we can with the goat's milk. You know, have it for ourselves, make ice cream, and y'all notice I always say ice cream first. <laughs> butter, uh, yogurt, cheeses, soaps, whatever we can come up with to make with it for our farm and our family. That is our plan with the goat's milk. And also you guys know we're even building a milking room or a milking parlor in the barn. So big day. And you may be wondering, why do you want two bucks? You already got a buck. You got Crazy Joe. Why would you want another one? Number one, we want to give a, or give Joe a buddy per se to live with him in the pasture because Joe gets kind of hormonal yeah, as you guys know when we have to separate him and number two is because of pears we can't breed Joe with pears because that's our daddy so we got to bring a new buck in to be able to breed pears so we've talked to some other goat people and this is what they suggested and that is get another buck so this buck will be the same size, same breed, same everything as Joe. But Brooke and Mary Carl are gone to Sneed's farmhouse to go pick Mo up today. And in the meantime, I gotta take care of the farm because they left early this morning. And I gotta take care of the farm and get things done. And there's some stuff I need to do here that, that I really need to get caught up on. Hey boys, y'all ready to come out? So we thank the boys are pretty much big enough now where they just come out all the time. And I got y'all's heartworm medicine. I had strict instructions about this heartworm medicine. Got it? Done. Now we got it. All right. Y'all come on out. Y'all come on. Hey, y'all. What's going on, gang? Guess what? Y'all are gonna have a new buddy today. Yep, cause that's our plan right now to put Mo in here with these guys so he won't get picked on as bad as he will if he goes over there with Joe right now. But we'll gauge it. We will start to gauge it. When we think Mo's ready to move over, we will move him over on with Mildred. Y'all are gonna love Mo. Yeah, he is a beautiful, handsome young man. And sweet, oh my gracious. Sweet, 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 sweet. Hey, Peaches, you got your new employee coming. Yeah, it's Mo. Here you go, girl. He's a sweet fella. Don't, uh, don't work him too hard, okay? Howdy, Sheriff. How you doing, Sheriff? Hmm? How you doing, buddy?
I wonder if, I wonder if Nugget, I bet he has. I bet he's done ran a ba background check on Mo already. Don't nothing get past the security here, I can tell you that. Boys, 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 what's happening, boys? What's going on? We need to have a little talk. Yeah, we got a new fella coming, Mr. Mo. It's gonna be Joe's new buddy, uh, Moody. Yeah, buddy, Joe is getting a new friend, Moo Man. How about that? I think it's gonna work out well, don't you? I guess we can call y'all Mojo, right? Huh? That sounds like a good name for you. Mojo. Joe and Mo. Also known as Mojo. It's got a good ring to it, don't it, buddy? Huh? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Silly boy. And y'all, we're not quite for sure how all it's gonna work out. Um, I don't know if we're gonna put the boys, Mo, Joe, Topper, and Big Moody, he's right here, together. And then when the boys get hormonal, separate them and do it that way. I just don't know how exactly how all that's gonna work out. But we will figure it out. And we will keep our animals' welfare and happiness in their best interest for sure. When's the last time we've had a new large animal? Not a not a poultry, not a goose or a chicken or anything like that. When's the last time we've had a for real large livestock or large animal come to the farm? And I get well Paris being born, but she was born here. But Mildred, can y'all believe that? Mildred is been here over a year so it's been well over a year since we've brought in a large animal to the farm like mo cheesy there's mac and there's cheese we officially have changed carrot top's name to mac ain't that right buddy yeah he said he don't mind it he likes mac better anyways cheese you keeping everybody straight All right, so everything's looking good here in the garden. It's looking great. I need to start weeding and I'm gonna start my organic spraying. I've already sprayed one time, but I'm gonna spray again probably tomorrow because it's too late in the day to do it now. I wanna do it late in the evening. We got mow coming, so I probably can't get it in today. So we'll get it in uh, tomorrow and I'll put that in the next video and explain what we do here on our farm on having on how keeping pests down organically but i do want to trellis the cucumbers i'll show you guys why here because they're just getting leggy but look at the tomatoes y'all aren't they getting beautiful look at this wow haven't done any fertilizing except that one organic fertilizer we put in and that's been about it just been watering probably once a week because we are in this drought we ain't any rain in a while and look, I got cucumbers already. How about that? I definitely need to get these guys up off the ground. So I tell y'all what, let's go grab us some ice cold water. Let's go grab some cattle panels and some T-post. Let's see if we can't get that cucumbers trellised. 
We'll be arriving at Miss Judy's farm momentarily where we will see Bo the goat. All right, y'all. We just pulled up at Judy's Sneed Family. No. Sneed Farmhouse Sanctuary. I'm going to get it right in a minute. Everybody's and there's my precious little baby. Look at him. Showing his dominance. Get him, boy. Okay, so all these are wonderful, wonderful, beautiful animals. Dexter here. Dee Dee has. She she. she she. Where's boyfriend? Coca. He's probably sleeping. Okay. He, you know, he's been I sleeping one lately. In the little barn. He's been uh, uh, laying down on the job lately. But y'all, while all these animals are just as beautiful as the next, including you, Miss Judy, <laughs> I have to show y'all something that I have been dying to see. And that is Cinco. Can I walk over yeah. to her? And Dee Dee doesn't mind. She's been a sweet mom. So we got a good mom and that means we got a good calf. She's so beautiful, Judy. I saw her from a distance and I could not believe she's how so small she is. Okay. Oh, you're so okay. beautiful. I yeah, I don't want to scare you, but I want to love on you. Oh my goodness. Yes, her white is so white. I bet you've been out here using a toothbrush brushing through I that have. brushing I through that brushing through that beautiful fur. Oh, baby, will you let me touch you? I give you some love. You probably not like a dog. You don't need to smell me first, do you? Nope, don't like me. Okay, Cinco. She's so beautiful. Her little pink nose. She looks like a stuffed animal. I know. And Leroy's been so good with her. Really? Yeah, it took him about three days um, of sniff test, <laughs> and he's fine. He's well. Fine. What about the alpacas? Everybody's good? Every, I kept them over on this side of the fence and she laid right here. So everyone came up and sniffed her and it's been a beautiful family. That's we awesome. All live together. That's the best thing you could ask for. And mama is not overprotective, which I'm surprised. I am too. I would think that she would not let her get over here without her. But you know, I was told the same thing with Georgia Lee. Um, the vet said, Judy, she's probably going to be very protective of her baby. And that's and, your alpaca, right? Yes. And you see Tate gives me kisses. Uh, she allows Tate to come up to me, but I think it's because they're handled so much. Well, and another thing is probably that they're in this environment where everybody's right here together and they're never separated. And I'm telling y'all, if we can get Judy to come to Cogkill Farm and teach our animals how to go to bed... <laughs> She's 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 gonna be on on the Cog Hill Live doing that. <laughs> Cinco, you're so beautiful, baby. I just don't I don't want you to be scared of me, so I'm not gonna mess with you. I, I need to find out about flies with her. I've been scared to put anything on hers because Mama's still licking. Oh yeah, and, I didn't think about that. Um, the vet says that Mom licks for a while. Mm -hmm. It's normal. And so I was scared to put any fly spray simply because I didn't want anything to be toxic to the mom. Yeah, because mom so, don't want to lick that nasty tasting stuff, I wouldn't imagine. If anybody can recommend something to me, all please right. let me know. So y'all let us know what you recommend yes. or if anything at all for little baby Cinco's flies. She's not like covered up, but she does have a few there. I don't like it. On her leg there and she twitches her yeah, tail. It's funny because with all these animals the only flies attack the cows and that's it and we have that same issue it's just the cows and we have also noticed that mildred who is white <laughs> does not have near the flies that moody who's black and white has <laughs> and i don't know why that is or if they just see him as a bigger target and therefore more flies land on him look at little mo he's gonna he was he was standing up to the bigger goats i think he's knowing his name now Really? I have really been working with him. Oh. Moo! Moo! Mama, I'm trying Moo! to eat. I keep calling him Moo. Moo! He's like, I'm eating hay. Would you leave me alone? Mama, I can't talk right now. Oh, 
Oh, dead baby side to wake up. You are so beautiful, oh, boyfriend. Right. Okay, so if y'all watched the live where I was saying, <laughs> I want a boyfriend. This is exactly who I was referring to. No, I don't want a boyfriend for real. I've got a husband. But this is the boyfriend that I would desire to have if I were to have a boyfriend. Look at him. He's got a leg. Oh, down. Mary Carl, you've got a he love on him. He wants his belly scratch. He'll roll over. Oh, my goodness. He's so precious. <laughs> <laughs> He'd rather have scratches over visit, visiting with well, hate. He's going to roll over. You oh, my scratch. goodness. You're going uphill, big boy. He's yep. Like, as long as she scratches my belly, I'll work. Hey, little man. What you doing, baby? Hey. You gonna go home with us today? I see. And Velvet's going to, to his new home this week, too. Hey, Mimo. You gonna have hay at Cog Hill too. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to show y'all Mo and Muffin. Muffin went to Head Family Farm, but these two right here are Muffin and Mo's parents. This is Bobby Joe, he's the buck, and this is Luna. I hope that's not short for lunatic, <laughs> <laughs> but we will find out sooner than later. But they are both beautiful goats. You can see that he carries the Moonspot gene, which we plan to breed Paris, who is our Moonspot Nubian, Doling. She's just at a year old now, so she won't be able to breed until next year. But uh, that gene is obviously, obviously present on Mo's side as well as Paris's side. I really don't think he needs to be in a cage. What do you think, Judy? I don't. Rigger up. Maybe you can start telling him to get his shoes on. That's true. That's you know, true. He might could he might could learn like Ruger. Get your shoes on and go for a ride, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna try that and see how that works. I need you to hold your three fingers up. Three. <laughs> this is, we're Girl Scouts. <laughs> I, I, didn't think, four. I didn't think you would notice. If I did four, then I didn't have to honor it. <laughs> Repeat after me. Yes, ma'am. Repeat after me. I brook. I brook. Promise to take care of Mo. Promise to take care of Mo. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mo. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh he's not, he's not that bad. wasn't Mo. I love, he's I not love his bad. little star. Hey, baby. I love you, Mo, man. You're so beautiful. You're going to have a good night. I'm going to come visit. Mama's got to come see you. That's the only stipulations that I'll I asked for. I'll come see that baby. Mo. You be a good boy. Say yes, ma'am. So soft. Oh, baby. I love you already. <laughs> Don't cry, Judy. <laughs> I love you, my man. Tell all your friends bye. Even little Cinco over there tucked behind a tree. <laughs> You're not that heavy until we get about three quarters of the way. Yeah. All right, so... Mo, you're all loaded up and we're headed to your new home at Cock Hill Farm. I think you're going to be a perfect fit. Well, Brooke is on her way back with Mo, and in the meantime, I got blackberries I gotta cut. Y'all, I hadn't been long done this. Two weeks ago, I'm guessing. And look how big and crazy these blackberries are. Right, look at this. Oh, we gotta get these bottoms cut out. We don't need all this right here at all. No, we don't. We gotta mess them to cut. Man, they will absolutely just take off on you. If you let them. Just done cutting them. I gotta clean them up at the bottom, but y'all look at this. Look at these blackberries. And I hear bees. Hear the honeybee? Look at him. Hey, buddy. I hear honeybees. Can y'all hear them? Wow. But look at the berries. Look at this. Y'all, this is unreal at the blackberries. And still blooming. 
we still producing berries. Isn't that crazy? I cannot believe it. And it's getting heavy. I want to, I mean, it's getting heavy. Look right here. I got it tied lots of times in here, but it is so heavy with blackberries. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to come in here and start tying some more. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Both rows, bottom and top, are just loaded down. Look at this one. This one's falling over with blackberries. And they ain't near about ready yet. Not at all. We're going to get these big, humongous berries the size of your thumb when it's all said and done. But I am absolutely just loving it good gracious wow and y'all just think next year my nanches which are thornless we're gonna grow them the same way so this this area next year is gonna look like this one and it's gonna be all the way down that's gonna be a lot of berries but i ain't complaining because i love them i am so happy that we decided to plant our blackberries on this trellis system. I mean, it is some work. It's a lot of pruning, but y'all, it is gonna be absolutely worth it in the end. All right, so it's been a wonderful day, but I got some bad news. It's gonna be dark when we get home, buddy. No. But no, it's six o'clock and we got a couple hours to get home. So it's gonna be dark. But that's okay, you're not sleeping in here. All right, y'all, Mo's gonna be late coming in, so. Which may be a good thing. Everybody's probably gonna be asleep for the most part. But y'all gonna behave. Y'all a good crew. A good crew. Just as long as he don't wake Peaches up, everything will be okay. Oh, he lifted his head up. Showing. Hey, baby, you're home. I know it's dark outside. Oh, he's standing up. Now look, Mo is here. All right, it's just dark, but Mo's here. Here's your daddy. What's up, buddy? Can get you out. Does he look anything like Bobby Joe? No. No, Bobby Joe's his daddy. I'm asking Mo, do you look like Bobby Joe? Oh. <laughs> You're Mo, his daddy now. Mo don't look like Bobby Joe. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right. Let's take you in. He's That's heavy, isn't he? Heavy. I had to walk a long way carrying him. Mm. All right, I wish it wasn't dark, but it is. Yeah, I talked about it. It is what it is. 